NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has openly acknowledged the alliance's awareness of the likelihood of Russia invading Ukraine. In a recent interview with the German newspaper, Fuzz, Stoltenberg reflected on how the intelligence community had predicted the invasion, yet its occurrence still had a profound impact. Stoltenberg admitted that February 24, 2022, the day Russia launched its invasion was one of the most challenging in his decade-long tenure leading NATO. He expressed regret that more could have been done to support Ukraine beforehand, including supplying requested weaponry. Stoltenberg noted that there was internal hesitation, particularly regarding the provision of sniper, rifles, and anti-tank missiles due to concerns about provoking Russia. Although some aid was eventually provided, he believes a stronger military presence might have deterred the invasion, despite the ongoing support Ukraine is receiving. Now, Stoltenberg emphasized that earlier and more robust support might have prevented the war. He also stated that any resolution to the conflict would require renewed dialogue with Russia, but it must be underpinned by Ukrainian strength. Stoltenberg, who has been NATO's head since 2014, will step down next month with Dutch former Prime Minister Mark Rutte set to succeed him. This revelation poses a significant transition in leadership at a critical time for NATO. The acknowledgement of missed opportunities to prevent the conflict underscores the complex and challenging decisions that leaders face in the realm of international affairs. As the world continues to witness the devastating consequences of the Ukraine-Russia conflict, Stoltenberg's reflections serve as a reminder of the need for proactive and decisive action in addressing global conflicts. The incoming NATO leadership will undoubtedly face the task of navigating these complex geopolitical challenges and ensuring the security and stability of the alliance.